day 90. So, um, I want to talk today a little bit about, um, physical activity and my life. So, everyone's, you know, physically active when they're a kid, at least for, you know, the most part, you know, you play on the jungle gym, etc. Um, and then you start doing PE classes because they're required, um, and you do all the, the crazy and stupid stuff from badminton to ballroom dancing to, um, your general, like, soccer and stuff like that. Um, and at least in Virginia, which is where I went to high school, uh, you had to do two years, and so my freshman and sophomore year I did, um, PE, and then physical activity kind of went downhill. Now, the majority of this time period I did after school sports, um, I did swimming for a while as a kid, and I kind of, uh, dropped off the, you know, I stopped doing it at some point, probably around middle school, I think, and, um, I did horseback riding a lot, but even though it's a physically active sport, um, you really do need to have something going along with it to maintain, um, your physical endurance, or you need to, um, be like, bailing hay and mucking out stalls on a daily basis. So I did do some of that during high school, um, which is probably why, um, that's, you know, the lowest that I remember being. Um, and that's when I really started focusing on weight and I went to college. Um, my college required two physical education classes. Um, I took swimming as a semester and I took hiking as a semester um, and then I was also a part of the equestrian team for the majority of my college years. Um, and so that kept me active, but not, you know, so active that my weight changed. Um, and sometime in freshman year, I went from about 250 to about 300. Um, and I ended up staying there and I stayed at 300 all up until last year. Um... And so when I got out of college, I pretty much stopped doing any physical activity um, until I got a dog. And so Zane became part of my life. At first, we were just kind of walking around the neighborhood, that type of thing. Um, and then I started exploring parks around the area and found a park called M. Long that has a off-leash uh, dog trail that's about three miles and so once I started trusting him off leash, um, we did that trail fairly consistently, um, averaging about two times a week for um, about, I want to say four, four and a half years. Um, so we've been doing that for a while. Um, and then last year I started the biking to work. And it is really nice to pass a bunch of cars uh, while you're on a bike, but, um, and, a decent part of my bike ride is kind of flat or slightly uh, inclined or de declined. Um, but there's a there's also a decent portion where there's some hills and you really have to work at it. So that, that you know, is some push, right? Um, and then there's just general working around my house, like um, getting popcorn ceilings. That, that doesn't seem labor intensive, but like, it really is. You have to put some muscle above it and you have to like get your hand above your head for like hours of doing this. Um, or just like building things in my garage. Like that's what I've kind of been supplementing for the past couple months. Um, you know, doing lawn work, etc. Um, and I've kept up the hiking. And so now I'm doing the biking and I feel less motivation to do stuff around my house. I don't know if that's a good or bad thing yet. We'll see. Um, but yeah, so he's... So... <laughs> uh, Zane's tired because we went hiking today. Um, and this week, I've done a bike ride and a hike. And I'm going to bike in tomorrow. I'll probably hike once more, all while fasting. Um, and so that'll probably be the most physical activity that I've done that's been measured. Uh on a fasting week. So we'll see how this goes.